Hey folks, Tom Vassell here, and today we are walking through the Origins Hall C. Now, if you're watching this and you've never seen a 360 video before, right. you're going to be able to move around, and as this video is playing, you can look in all 360 directions so you don't ever have to see me. And we are going to just be taking a tour of as much as the hall. These video files are huge, so I usually cap them at five minutes. So the hall is not yet opened. It is nine o'clock. 9.06 exactly on Thursday morning. That's why you're not seeing a lot of people here. But we're setting things up. Over here we have, on my right, I have Griggling Games with their new expansion for Quartermaster General. There's a few stores in these places. So here we're passing one. Origins Film Festival is a new thing that they've added. Um, now we're passing a card game collector on one side and the Gorilla Games and Baksha Games who are always together on the other. Here we have Pack Rat Games, Two Rooms and a Boom Guys, who as I've heard on their podcast love our show. Um, now the interesting thing about these conventions, you can see as I walk from front to back, as you get back, you always will find that there are more and more um, uh, obscure type games or just smaller games. Now here in the very back, and we're gonna walk into this area briefly, is the Origins Awards. So this is an area where you can come in and you can play the different games that have been nominated for the Origins Awards. Um, and then you will vote on them. Uh, I don't. Uh, last year I didn't see a lot of people playing here, but you definitely can vote on the different awards here, and it's actually a very nice sign this year. If you vote, you get a free generic ticket, so there's that incentive to vote. So that's that aisle. We're gonna walk down every aisle here, so you can look around and see things. Hey guys, I'm, I will be by later. Too. Here we got Hope City, and on the side, Thames and Cosmos, with the Imhotep. Over here we have Z-Man Games and Plat Hat, who are now sister gaming companies, essentially under F2Z. So both of them setting up. Plat Hat has the new Dead of Winter. Z-Man has, and Pretzel Games, I guess, so there's three companies together. Here's a company called Hell on Wheels, which is an interesting name for a game company. Now you notice not everything is open yet. You can see on the side here. That's because technically it doesn't need to be open until 10. So some people come out at the last minute, getting sleep before the big day. We're gonna take a little, no, we're not, we're gonna keep them straight here, Never mind. This is one of those places where you can come and get, if you want hero clicks, they got everything. As you can see, and on the other side of me, the other side of that um, thing. Um, now we're swinging around Academy Games who's showing off the new Mare Nostrum and one of the new Conflict of Heroes sets. We're gonna swing over this way now. We'll take a look at Catalyst and Stronghold later. Over here we have Epic and Star Realms going on this side. And cool stuff, which will be essentially a pretty busy booth, I'm sure as people come in to get all their games. Wow, that's a lot of Star Wars Armada stuff for sure. Um, um Press isn't supposed to be in here either. I'm, I'm working with uh, Origins. And, um... Back here is the Malted Meeple. Which I don't actually know what the Malted Meeple is. Oh, scheduled role playing game. So why do they call this? Huh. Oh, it's part of Ravenwood Castle. That's good, good. So here we are now walking between. Z Man and And swinging back around here. 
Back here is where the books are and the artists. So we're kind of swinging through that area. So you can see the different artists that are going around. I, I, they gave me a code and I looked and I looked and I looked. And that's about it for five minutes. So we're going to pause here and we'll come back in another video.